running battles in the streets of the Lebanese capital for the second consecutive night. Anti-riot police using tear gas to disperse protesters uh, who, as you can see, are out in force. Uh, anger is growing. Frustration is growing in Lebanon. It is now the fourth month since a anti-establishment yeah. protest movement began. Um, people took to the streets uh, to demand a change in leadership. Uh, the country's economy ha is, is a near collapse. Uh, you can see close, close to us here, there are banks, people vandalizing banks, uh, destroying cash machines, really venting their anger at the banking sector. Uh, banks have exposed informal capital controls, uh, preventing people from accessing uh, their deposits, their savings. Uh, there is a cap on the withdrawal of dollars. There's a cap on the withdrawal of Lebanese pounds. You can see tear gas is being used by the anti-riot police. Uh, earlier today, protesters were outside a main police barracks demanding... Okay, we have to move a bit in order to speak. You can see streets are very, very tense. Uh, this country is without a government. There's a political vacuum since the end of October. Uh, people are demanding a government that will save the economy instead of... And instead, what, what the politicians have been doing is bickering amongst themselves uh, over seats in the next cabinet. The United Nations is warning that the situation is, quote, dangerous, dangerous chaos in, in Lebanon, and blaming really the politicians for a failing financial system.